Good morning to everybody. So let us just say that you are now at your email, which you get at Google, Gmail, www.gmail.com. So once you've done that, for example, this student has gone in, you go to Gmail. Um, this is how you type it. www.gmail.com. All right. So let's just say I was, well, it will pull up whoever is there already. So let's start from the scratch because you're supposed to see your, all the mail from the school. So let's sign out. We'll sign out. Okay. And here we are. All right. We're going to select a new window. So you're going to go to the browser and you're going to type www dot gmail dot com all right make sure it's, you spell gmail correctly when you enter this you will get this if you have been on gmail so you can just say use another account all right and here i'm going i'm going to use my account m daniel for students it's different it's their first name dot the last name but with a member of staff, it's the first letter of your first name and your last name like me. ccss.edu.lc Once you type your email address, you go to next. And there you're going to type your password. For all students, it's student123. But I'm not a student, so if I type student123, notice it's capital S. All right, S T U D E N T one two three. If I type it like a student, I will not get through. All right, because I'm not a student. But this is what students are supposed to type. So I'm going to delete this, and because my password is not supposed to be shown to anybody, I will type my password. All right, and there we have it. Oops, sorry, I'm typing my password. Okay, my password is here. You type next. Once you type next, you should be able to enter. And Gmail opens up your mail. And already I have a number of mail from students. Urania, Koshon, all right? And so I have emails there already. So parents, what I want you to do is you go to the top right corner where it says settings. You click on see all settings when you click on see all settings you will see something called forwarding notice it there forwarding and pop dash or slash i imap once you do that you're going to go add a forwarding address okay all right and what you will do is you'll click on this and then you will add your personal address you see you'll add your personal address and there you are able to receive all the mail that your child gets okay so let me cancel this and i'll go now into luana's that's a student and i'm going to type luana's password her mom is here with me so we're going to type the password type it mommy No capital? Okay. You see, because you'll get a prompt to change your password. As soon as you have changed the password, you click next. When you click next, this is Luana, a student, which it shows that Luana has not opened any of my mail from the 11th of August when I sent every student a mail. All right. So Luana's mommy will now go to settings, which is up here, settings. And Luana's mommy will click on all, see all settings. And then when she goes to see all settings, she clicks on forwarding and mop, pop, imap. When she does that, she will click on, or parents, you click on add a forward, forwarding address. When you click on add a foreign address, you enter your own email here, which is, mommy, what's your email? You can type it. 
So mommy is typing her email there. Good. Once you type this email here and you click on next, all right, all mail that comes to your child goes to you. You click on proceed and a confirmation code has been sent to Janelle to verify permission. Okay? So the students cannot forward to anybody. You will get your confirmation and you know you'll say yes. Would you like to receive all mail from this student? Yes. All right. And then you have um, you have um, enable you enable pop enable pop for mail. All right. Forwarding and pop. So anything that pops up comes to you. All right. Anything that for mail that arrives from now on comes to you. And then you click on save changes. So you know. So you know that the changes that you have made so, okay so for example if i if if i were to send from that mother daniel the principal i were to send a reminder for example now to all form one parents all i have to do is type form one 2021 at ccss.edu.lc once i type this every form one student will get this mail okay so i just say just keeping in touch okay all right and i'll say hi everyone hi everyone please remind your parents that they must collect their packages at the school okay notice this that they must collect the package at the school today and tomorrow from 7 30 a.m until noon you see it and I send this let me just try that it's sent okay and let's wait for it we're going back to Luana and we're going to her, her inbox all right and Luana should get this email from me in a in a little while let me do a, a, a thing or oh, mommy should get that email in a very short while okay there we are you see it Marva daniel just keeping in touch so you realize i did not type luana's name i typed your form level and everybody in form one should get this email so check your emails all right parents so this is a short video to show you for eight minutes how to access your school's email and how to keep in touch thank you